All right. Hello and welcome to our latest tutorial how to replace the LEDs on your circuit board to get some cool stuff. So I just want to show you a little demo here of what we're going to be showing you what to do. So you can take this, it only stays on for a second, but as you can see, four different colors there, right? So usually what you do is you only pick one of those, but um, I'm going to turn off the light here. Try not to drop my laptop off as I plug it in, but here we go. And here we go, red, or excuse me, white, green, blue, and red. Looks cool, huh? All right, so this is actually kind of tough to do, but you can do it. So what we're going to go through and attempt to show you in this tutorial is how to replace those LEDs. Now, it's different on every board. There's different boards for different things. So there's a lot of stuff that you're going to need to pay attention to, and you're definitely going to want to get the printed tutorial because we're going to have lots of pictures in it. It's going to be on our site under the tutorial section. Look for the LEDs. But um, you need to make sure you know the positive and the negatives on each um, one because polarity is important, the positive and the negative. So on this one, um, you know, I've shown you this. We're going to do a different one, but I just want to show you, you know, you disassemble your controller just as we've shown before. I'm going to pop this circuit board out here, set this off the side. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you on a wired controller because it's missing that little charge dock here, and it's just a lot easier to work with. And I've been attempting to do this for a few weeks now, and I'm just going to let you guys know right off the bat, it's really hard to do with all the lighting that we do here, just so you can have a really good shot. So I'm going to do my best to keep it in focus uh, without moving the circuit board, but I really like to grab it and kind of move the circuit board around with my soldering iron. So let's get right to it and get to the next screenshot here. This is what the board looks like when it's disassembled and you, know, you can see those LEDs on there they look really nice I do that one more time there you go and we are going to change them out all right so here we have our zoomed in shot of the circuit board um, there's a couple things I want to go over first off when you order your LEDs from us you're gonna get a little pack like this okay they're really tiny um, they're taped down right here and we need to talk about what's positive and negative because positive and negative on these is very important <clears throat> there's a little green triangle on the back of each LED and on that green triangle the flat side of the triangle is the let's just call it the positive part the the triangle point is pointing to the negative so you just want to keep that in mind and I'm sure I'll have a graphic to superimpose up on the wired controllers you want to follow a certain path point and that is on number one the top is negative the bottom is positive on number two the bottom is positive the top is negative uh, let's see number three let's see it's pretty much that same way so or the negative positive for number three and negative positive for number four so negatives on top positives on bottom so the best way that I found I gotta give credit to Llama here uh, to do it is their method that they have taught to remove the LEDs and that is to kind of <clears throat> they say bathe it in solder um, which doesn't mean go crazy because you want to be very careful not to um, get any of these circuit board spots burnt so let me tell you that also make sure you're using like a 25 watt soldering iron Okay, you don't want to go crazy with the soldering iron here, okay? You don't need tons and tons of juice to melt this. Alright, so one of the first things I want to make sure you guys all understand to do is to make sure your iron is hot, okay? That will be the first thing that uh, if you're not familiar with soldering, you're going to be like, why isn't it melting? It's because you haven't heated up your iron. So you want to get a nice little bubble of solder on there. Hopefully you can see that bubble. And then what we're going to want to do is... Uh, just kind of go on both sides of this and just touch one side and they usually just wipe right off there we go just boom came right off then you just that's if you bathe it in solder okay and you can just put it off to the side here I just use a rag and I wipe it off and then you can go back and actually get those lights if you really want to 
and reuse them later on. Same thing down here on D3. Just soak this bad boy in solder. I hope I didn't just unfocus it. So much easier when you can move the circuit board. <clears throat> Looks like the picture is still good. Good to go. Now, you do not want to, I repeat, you do not want to grab onto this with tweezers because you will snap that LED and you're screwed. Here we go. We're going to try and get number four off. When they come off, they come off real quick, and you got to be real careful not to burn the board. Okay, so once you have all the stuff off. I'm going to switch over to my nice uh, iron that I have here. That was or what you're going to have. You want to just make sure you clean those contacts off. Be careful not to, once again, touch the black part. If you just rub across, it kind of just scrubs some of the junk off. And and it also puts the solder right back where you need it to be. It'll be in little bubbles. So hopefully you can see that. Um, just making sure this one looks good, yeah. So we've got nice little bubbles of solder. Now, you can, if you do this right, from this point forward, you're not going to have to use any extra solder, which is what I like to do. So let me make sure I've got my good camera angle here. There we go. 